Oh shit. Good afternoon guys. I know it's been a week or so since I made a video. Um a video, sorry. <laughs> so figure come on here and talk about how I'm gonna do some stuff here. Um other than that, did anyone miss me? <laughs> okay. Sorry man. So, figured make a video and uh, whatnot when I have a little bit of downtime. Because normally I'd be doing like a morning video, that kind of thing, big fucking whoop. So, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown on what I'm going to be doing with this. A dirty angle here. Yeah, well, I mean, it's dirty. It's freaking dirty. Don't mind the transmission pan. I'm using it for the bolts and whatnot. So, anyways, how's, how's everyone been doing, huh? I hope y'all are doing well. So, um, other than seeing how y'all are doing, I figured, um, might as well jump right into it, you know? So, as you can see, I have the Durango on all four jacks. So, with that being said... I'll be, uh, the reason I have it on all four jacks right now is cause, well, for one, I'm gonna be, uh, doing all new front components, your joints, and converting the back to disc. So, first things first, I don't have the new parts here yet. So basically, can be a replacing. I know it's hard to see in here because I don't have that much light over here. Um, basically, I'm gonna hold on. Let me uh, go around here where it's a little more light. So okay, a little bit better. So basically, I'm gonna be. Replacing the outer tie rod, the inner tie rod, the CV axle, upper and lower ball joints, brake calibers up front, because I'm thinking one of these are sticking. So I'm going to replace that both anyway. Wheel bearing, roller. I already looked at the brake brake pads, they're fine. So basically all of this shit. Basically whatnot. Then cause every time I put it in a four-wheel drive, the CV axle starts to knock. So So I'm gonna replace all that. So, I know the whole front end's done. After I have everything broken down to the point where it wants to be put back together, then I will. Then, let's move over to a back side here. Where this is going to be a pain in the ass to do. <laughs> I gotta find the conversion kit cause uh, that's one thing I have to add on to my list is a conversion kit to uh, convert this from drum to disc now if you're wondering some of you may not know what drum brakes are all this right here is drum uh, uh here we go better lighting 
These are the brake shoes. And a, um, I forgot. I'm having a brain fart. That's a wheel cylinder. The springs and everything. So basically, I'm going to remove all this shit. Oh, and if I remember right, that's the, right here is the e-brake. So that's going to be interesting uh, to do also. So, yeah. And after, actually, when I come back to this back um, assembly here, when I get right down to it, I'll basically drain the rear end, put new fluid in, and CV axles and everything. I'm gonna even new joints. So, and um, once I have all the components done and over with, then I'm gonna convert, well, Get rid of the stock exhaust so it can breathe a little bit better. And I got some headers for this thing too. Got, uh, oh, got up too fast. So basically, if this thing's all, the whole tire suspension can be completely overhauled. But why? Well, instead of doing all that stuff up front and be done, no. I'm going a little bit further, so um, I might look into maybe a three, three inch left for a thing too, I don't know. But right now, I'm just gonna replace all the components. Then all from basically I'm working from a uh, ground up to a motor because the motor itself seemed a little sluggish so it's a 360 the 5.9 magnum so what I'm gonna do with a motor is new spark plugs wires distributor uh, cap oil change and one of those uh, cone filters for it too, so with a header, so it sure wake up pretty good. And plus it needs an oil change too. So basically after everything is said and done, I sure have at least close to five, eight hundred into it. You're fine, Buckwheat. So, yeah, then I can move in and figure out why I'm not getting no heat in this thing, too. So, um, knowing that, um, I'm going to start the thing up. So, uh, I got to get the keys out of the other vehicle so basically again go in here figure out why it's not pumping out heat then after that then I can go in the back fix the rear hatch till I get all new body panels for a thing this goddamn thing has freaking heater heated leather seats in it too which I have to fix so, so basically, I'm just going to work on the outside, uh, on everything first before I even think about doing, like, um, body work and shit like that to it. So, that's my game plan for now, is to, uh, 
drop uh, all the new shit into it. Then uh, I might consider later on if I can't afford it. I might drop a uh, one of those kind of like off brand of that solid steer uh, steel, not steer. Um, front bumper like um, an iron cross bumper, that kind of thing. So then I'm going to replace the headlights with aftermarket too. So the price was right. So yeah, kind of looking forward to getting on working on this thing, getting up and going and such. Um, who knows? I might put a, uh, convert the one wheel wonder into posi. So. So, yeah, but that should be it for the breakdown on what I'm going to be doing. From, I'm going to work from the front to the back, then after that I will put the tires back on and go again in front and I'm done. So, kind of looking forward to it, so. Anyways, y'all have a good day, alright? Have a good one. Bye.